Hey guys, what's up? This is another iOS app development video and today I'm going to be teaching you how to customize your um, text fields keyboard type. I know you can do that in Interface Builder but I'm going to be showing you how to do it uh, a little bit more customizable and you can do it with one line of code. It's really um, a little bit better than the options they have in Interface Builder. So I'll get to that in one second but I have one announcement uh, actually, two things I want to say. Uh, one, I'm sorry that I can't get as many videos as I'd like out, but I'm very busy recently and I'm working on it, so please bear with me, guys. Um, thank you to all the new viewers and subscribers. That's awesome. And I finally got around to updating my app, which I made like uh, a year and a half ago or two years ago. It's called A Guitar Tuner. It's a really simple guitar tuner um, so I was being lazy and I finally got around to updating all the graphics and uh, it's a really simple way to tune your guitar uh, again I'm not a professional graphic designer obviously but I'm working on improving my skills so uh, I added a co few cool new features uh, total UI de redesign uh, so check it out it's free that'd be awesome if you could give that a look so um, yeah I'm I'm working on my other apps. Please disregard my other apps in the App Store. They were made like two years ago and they're really bad. But this one is pretty good. All my recent work is still on my computer and I need to upload it. So, anyways, and uh, by the way, this is my other dog. Uh, he's a poodle. The other one's a Maltese. Um, but yeah, just thought you might want to know. Um, but anyways, let's get started. Uh, we can go into Xcode here, create a new project, and uh, we can just select a single view would be fine, but of course this will work in any template. And we'll just call it um, keyboard. Keyboard. I don't know. Uh, whatever you'd like to call it, and then just click next and click create. Uh, so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create our uh, keyboard. So we're going to go into our viewcontroller.h uh, curly brackets after the UI view controller and close them. Inside of those curly brackets, what we're going to do is an IB outlet so we can connect it in Interface Builder. We're going to do a UI text field, which is a text field. Of course, this will work with a, a text view as well. And uh, we'll call it field. Keep it real simple. Now, that's all we need in our .h. It's extremely simple. It's just two lines of code, I think, in the whole thing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into our .m and scroll down until we find our view did load. So right after the super view did load, we're going to just press enter a couple times. What we're going to do is field dot keyboard type. You can also do keyboard appearance. You can play around with that. There's a lot of different ways you can customize it programmatically. Um, but anyways, what we're going to do is keyboard type field dot keyboard type equals UI keyboard board oops type and as you can see there's a lot more options than there are in interface builder you have your Twitter keyboard type which allows easy access to the at and the uh, hashtag sign and um, right here what I want to show you is the number um, where is it the decimal pad uh, now this was a thing that bothered me when I first started how to get a decimal on that little number pad and I'll illustrate this in one second uh, let's actually jump into our viewcontroller.xib drag in a text field and just connect go into files owner go into your connections here and drag the field to field now, as you can see when we go into our little attributes right here um, we go into keyboard there's only about eight different options here and there's no there's a number pad but there's no um, decimal on that number pad so that's what you can use this simple line of code for it will add a little decimal point to the number pad and it really makes it easy because you don't have to use uh, a lot of code to customize it yourself it's automatically built in so let's run this and see how it works so um, I hope everything that I've said has made sense. Um, so as you can see, it adds a decimal to the number pad. 
Now I'll show you the standard number pad if we, we can just comment this out for a second. We can go into here and select number pad. This is just an example of course. You can play around with it. Um, but one second. And as you can see there's no there's nothing here. You can't add a decimal, which is kind of annoying in apps in a lot of apps where you might need a decimal number. So I hope this guy, this uh, little feature has helped you out. Uh, if you want to learn more, there's a lot on the Apple Developer Reference. Um, as you can see, it's declared in UI textbook, text input traits. H. You can go there and look at the code Apple has provided for you, because there's different um, attributes which you can customize uh, with code. So check that out. Um, as you can see, let's run it again. And um, give it a second. And you, as you can see, it gives you that uh, decimal. But uh, of course, you can try with the other keyboards, such as the Twitter one, etc., etc. But uh, anyways, I hope this helped with your apps. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll try to get another video out this week, um, and I'll see you later.